All right, we're here at Steve's home. Uh, I'll give you a quick recap as to what we're looking at here. Uh, we've got a non-condensing 100,000 BTU uh, furnace at uh, sea width, 49 inches tall. Uh, pretty standard four inch flue coming out the back there, tying in with the three inch flue from the water heater. Uh, we'll just do a six by four by three T and replace all that. Uh, flue needed is probably, I'd say about six foot. Just bring out eight, we'll cut it down bring back what we don't use. Return drop uh, as it stands is a 12 by 22. Uh, we'll either need to do a 10 or a 12 by 26. Either way, we're just gonna pull and replace that. It's a total of 93 inches from the top of the return to the floor, um, which depending upon how we set this up, we've got enough room. Um, we could move this to the right here to get the five inch April air filter in. Because uh, right now the return is snug right up against the side of the furnace. Um, and I only say that if we do the water heater with it, because we're going to need to move uh, probably the flues to the right a few inches to accommodate that. So if we're doing it all together, uh, we'll scoot that to the right to get the April air box in there. The coil, also see with down low. Uh, looks to be a four ton coil. Line sets look to be in good shape. We can pressure test those. If we need to rerun them, I would say it's less than about 15 foot to the wall. Strands on the floor on the back side here. We do have a fairly new 600 M bypass humidifier from April Air. The humidistats on the back side here as well. We'll look to reuse this, just run a new bypass. Water shut off actually looks to be good as well, but again, if we're going to put new water lines on here, we'll just pull, put a new gate valve on that. Um, the humidistat as well, um, probably we'll use an EIM board and tie that up into the, uh, the thermostat upstairs. Probably looking to do a uh, VPR from Honeywell. And there is a walkout basement. All right, so in addition, we would like to add a couple of returns to the bedrooms. So here at the end of the return, uh, we've got an 18, eight by 18. Uh, we'd like to add uh, basically two fresh air returns back here. There's two bedrooms. So add one on the right and on the left. And then also the master is over here, which we can just jump the supply run to get to that. Uh, we'll need to add, I would say, between five to six foot. Um, we'll just cut, prefab that, bring that out. Five to six foot onto the end of that return. We'll get us down roughly into this area here. And then we can just branch off the, uh, the flex lines, the supplies, excuse me, the returns from that. So now that I'm looking at it, we actually may want to make that like, Make that like seven to eight foot. I say just bring out eight foot and we'll cut it down because there is a supply right there I didn't see. So we'll need to get down, down in this area here.